Hey guys, couldn't get a video out straight after USA England because after enjoying the match in a London sports bar, I was cruelly stricken by a mystery illness which lasted most of the day. I think it was um, football fever. That's as simple as that. So here we are today. Anyway, that uh, match was not the most jam-packed, interesting of games, but it keeps both teams on track for the tournament. Um, I think it was a decent display, certainly from the US. It did a very, very good job. The midfield was very important. One of the few things I got right from my last video. What I didn't get right was the score. Um, I believe I said 3-2, I think. Um, and that wasn't quite right, was it? Um, but no, both dreams alive for the USA and England to qualify from the group. It remains to be seen how that plays out in the last game, but still looking good from both sides. Just to let you in on how some of the uh, papers in the UK, the famously generous and kind papers in our good old British media, have, um, have taken this result. Um, here were some of the front and back pages. Fair? I'm not sure. I think England got a job done. They're not out of it. We're on track in the tournament. The USA, well, yes, better, more athletic. Better result for them slightly, but win-win, I think. From a Canadian point of view, we obviously I'm recording this uh, directly before the Croatia game or a few hours before the Croatia game, which if they get something from there, we'll put them in a brilliant position to qualify from their group. And from what we've seen on the first match, they really deserve to go further. And I would like to see that definitely happen. But they've got Morocco up after that as a team they could easily get something out of if they, uh, if they turn on the performance like they did in the first game. I think you're going to have players like Alfonso Davies and Jonathan David really taking advantage of uh, what is a relatively weak team in a tournament like this. So all to play for in that group and I wouldn't count out Canada just yet. That's it for now. I will report back in the end of the group stages, start of the round of 16. But uh, goodbye from uh, grey old England for now.